Good morning, everybody. I thought I would do a quick one about medical advice on the internet. <laughs> and, uh, it's, it's, it's a nice thing. Hey, buddy. It's a nice thing to know that people are, I know you're a good dog, are worried about uh, other people or animals. Um, and I think that if people want to go and search out medical advice, then they can. I think that's just fine. Um, I don't advise taking uh, medical advice on the internet, personally. I think that a professional should be involved in many things, which is what brings me to the topic of this video, which is essentially the idea that those that are concerned a lot for the horses here feel a need to one, diagnose, and two, um, advise on that said medical condition and the treatment of it. And in some cases, which drugs should be used for said treatment. Um, I've recently got a few comments and uh, a couple emails for sure in this regard <clears throat> um, concerning Gracie. She's probably the most commonly commented horse here who's got something going on kind of idea. I've had a range, I mean a real range of suggestions but given both privately and publicly on the comment section in regards to how to treat her. Now, I'll say it again, I really appreciate everybody who is concerned about her, concerned about any of my horses here, concerned about myself, concerned about the dog, but I always tell people never take advice from the internet that is free, that is medically related, either a diagnosis and or treatment. And as such, I never ever take that advice. I don't listen to it, I barely read it. Um, and so I want to say for everybody who would like to give medical advice here, Please don't, you're wasting your time. Let me know you're concerned, that's fine. Let me know you care, that's fine, that's wonderful. Um, but straight out medical advice, uh, like I said, a diagnosis and or treatment of said diagnosis is not useful whatsoever. And I highly recommend people not do that on the internet. I don't think it is a responsible thing to do whatsoever to make diagnosis of horses, other people's horses, pets, children, adults, whatever, you name it. It's, it's not a responsible thing to do. If you feel like there's something, let them know your concern. Say, hey, you know, have you, you can ask. You can say, have you seen a vet about blah, blah, blah. And then that person can answer. I myself will answer. Somebody's asked about Gracie. Have you had a neurological test done on her? So on and so forth. Those are fine questions to ask. Um, but making, making assumptions based off of a video, um, making a diagnosis based on a video of a very short video, short amount of time that a horse has been shown in said video is, is uh, unless you're a full blown proper veterinarian and or doctor, if you're <laughs> giving advice about humans, uh, I'd just say, don't give medical advice on the internet. And for those that are receiving it, if you have a channel and you've got an animal and people are paying attention, like you should do this and you should do that. Um, I would just politely, I would recommend politely saying, thanks for your concern. Uh, medical advice is going to be given to me by professionals, people who actually actively come in touch and be with the horse and can observe and do tests, actual tests. So I mean this in the friendliest way, uh, I genuinely am touched by how many people care about the horses here, how much you guys seem to very much love them. It is a wonderful, wonderful thing, and I'm very appreciative and thankful of that. So let's end on that. Um, any questions, of course, let me know. Um, and, uh, and that's it. We're going to have a wonderful day today. It's fantastic weather. We've got this blue sky in at the moment with these fluffy little clouds. Aren't they cool? And uh, it's going to be a nice summer day, I hope, for the rest of the day and on in the week. So that's it for this one. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a wonderful day.